Go, go! It was a plea heard so many times that awful night, get out of the tower. But many chose to ignore it because the instruction from the fire brigade was to stay put. Advice exposed as fatally flawed today. The inquiry heard the first 999 call alerting the emergency services. Fire brigade? Yeah, hello, hi, in the fire, flat 16 Greenfield Tower. Sorry, a fire where? Flat 16 Greenfield Tower. Right, okay. Right, quick, 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 quick. They're on their it's way burning. already. Yes, I know it's burning, but they are on their way. You've only just called, as long as you're okay. Bahalu Kabedi was reporting a solitary fire in flat 16 on the fourth floor where he lived. But the inquiry saw a sequence of phone video showing how quickly it spread. The flames had moved into the combustible cladding outside the tower and were spreading up and down the building. Wow. Within half an hour, the inquiry heard, the stay put strategy had failed, but it remained in place as the burning and melting cladding carried the fire from floor to floor. The events that unfolded at Grenfell Tower on the 14th of June 2017 rapidly became unprecedented. Rather than a fire within one internal compartment, a major fire in the building envelope occurred, and this itself was on multiple stories. One of the first expert witnesses told the inquiry the fire brigade advice for people to stay in their flats did not take into account changes made to the tower in its refurbishment. Barbara Lane, one of the inquiry's leading experts, says she has found no evidence that the fire brigade was aware that the addition of combustible cladding and other materials had greatly increased the fire risk. That heightened risk meant that staying put was the wrong advice, she said in her initial report, and then pointedly asked why it took until 2.47, 41 minutes after the fire was declared a major incident, for the advice to be withdrawn. And it is that delay that is upsetting survivors' groups. Devastated. That is, when you, when you actually sit down and think about it, people's lives could have been saved. And it just goes back to everything that we've been saying from day one, that Grenfell was totally avoidable. The firefighters were undoubtedly the heroes of this tragedy. But could more of these people have been saved if those heroes were better led? An uncomfortable question on which the inquiry will now focus. Paul Davis, ITV News.